South Africa. This is Ndabe Ntlemoloi of Student TV. Today we are with uh, MEC of Education, Ubaba Uwazi Mshengu. We're going to be asking him a few questions concerning education and of course sports as we are in Gate 10 Howard College at the University of KwaZulu Natal uh, today. Uh, Mr. Kwazi Mshengu, uh, by the way, Baba, congratulations on your appointment as MEC and also on your master's degree in law, a noble degree that is. Um, Baba Mshengu, uh, we're going to be asking you a few questions. Uh, first of all, Masiaga education, Baba Mshengu, Sizwile Sbonile Mapepe Nu Ukulmile Baba. Elambe, unga shichel guti hini obonuti uzo ishinja laga education, se aziku nenginga eningi when it comes to education, basic education that is. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you very much and thanks for having us. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, your question, we, our focus first and foremost is to eradicate the disparity between the schooling system. Yes. As we we'll know that uh, the apartheid uh, uh, legacy mm -hmm. left us with a schooling system where there are well uh, advantaged schools and they will, there are schools where <clears throat> some of us as Kamwagona in rural and urban areas where the standard of education is not really the one that will make us to be competitive yes. even at an international level. Yes. Pro 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 most probably because of uh, the environment, as Pumagi and the infrastructure of our schools, the absence of proper resources in our schools, you know. There are rural areas where schools so ama learners they still imagine things so the clear instruction from the premier is that we need to bridge the gap so that our schooling system is uniform and we are able to see produce abandwana even in rural from rural and urban areas that are able to compete at an international standard uh, uh, level but always really is to re-engineer our education system so that it is in line with the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. We don't want to keep on producing learners that have no future because by Fundile uh, has, 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 has become outdated in so far as the demand of the economy is concerned. So as a province we have introduced about 12 technical subjects which are new. We are also going to introduce at a primary phase the, the subjects of coding and electronics so that we start producing or, and, and developing our learners to be uh, well versed with the demands of the 4IR at an early stage so that when they, they graduate from our schools they are also uh, compatible with the market itself. So those are the priorities uh, as Pagan and now we call it. Obviously to introduce, to, I mean to improve the performance of our learners not only focusing uh, but throughout the system, you will know that the president directed we we also integrate the the early childhood development within a basic education, so that in Ghana, of course, we call we develop from grade RR as it will be up until metric. So those are the things as a prioritizer and general general department that was Natal. But the focus is to is over improve any quality you call it the same kind of same luxury. No man, a profound from the MEC of education. Uh, MEC, you spoke about uh, coding, which is uh, app development, a calling, and putting our children that are in rural areas, Alabama Malukshin, in power with those who are in the affluent schools. Uh, some uh, MEC, Guzoba, Guzoba, Yisu El Right, Guti, now education, Ukale, we integrate a into engine, Ama app, we education system to make the education uh, easier. Uh, some MEC, after, uh, after this interview, some introducer, we sang app which is uh, developed for the schooling system and um, some MEC school men of fundi sanji MEC or group cool new to teach a fundi say a goal in a South Africa and basically it's because of discipline section 10 of his schools act is as with a cool man gay corporal punishment uh, but what are we going to be doing in terms of a uh, discipline and jungle by a seaborn with the children or kids or students about a goal in who are repeated offenders uh, in the schooling system, but as I miss, some pay in the anger to nine zero, or both or teacher and bella, bakala, bakala, by a bar frustrated, a discipline, any safety, sangana, any safety. Well, if you're disciplined, you call in the only you ever will turn what you look super super, you know, you call us a penduga in the house of Tuanegan, learners fighting each other and learners fighting with teachers and all of that. 
uh, the schools act empowers us to take drastic measures beyond corporal punishment because as we know that was outlawed uh, some time ago yes. and we still remain firm that corporal punishment cannot be administered in our school mm -hmm. we need to find the proper ways uh, of, of, of instilling discipline in, in, in our schools. Uh, by the way, Schools Act even empowers us to manage umdwana is becoming a problem in schools. Mm. But we don't want to get into that point because even it means we are adding more problems to the community because So we are trying to introduce um, positive ways of discipline. Uh, you know, I was uh, in, in Newcastle on Friday, uh, closing one of our winter schools, which we had ran with uh, the South African uh, National Defence Force. Yes. And the discipline that they instilled in those students that were, that were participating in, in, in that uh, program is amazing. It's, so it's one thing that I learned from there was that probably we'll also need to engage uh, with other various stakeholders, particularly the SNDF, also to help us to instill and uh, run programs that instill discipline uh, in, in our schools. But equally, we, we, we are making a call to parents because <clears throat> our learners, they spend few hours in school. Most of the time, basuke besekai. And if a learner, a a kaya, el it becomes, our chances of lupa become very slim. But if Wabazal Nabobezo by Yegele Labantuan and say no Tisha by Obon, then you'll end up having Aba Abantuan Aba Imbe like some uh, 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 in our schools. Couldn't uh, any problem uh, 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 that is uh, attacking our schools of gangsterism? Where learners Alwango go to Banugipi group, Banugipi group, Aba Yegabalanga, NBA code, faction fights. So these are problems that you can't solve them only within school premises. You need the community to be on board. You need parents also to take full responsibility of your behavior. Uh, we used to attend school then. They, they echo in the, <coughs> I mean, I see you at some stage, but what we would in Kaben and Omfano Til and Funuk Funsan would you know, Ningabafana Nan. Not like this. Not like this, but, and it, 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 but now we have students who bring dangerous weapons and that is the culture 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 Jointly with Amapoisa, who was a seven Amarandom check says Colin. We think Uti as in his in Desos Legalela Ugnipisa, a easing a lot lamb, a El Cone, Colin Gobasia Fis Uti calls it to go be in down and bellas of Funda, no fundis. Uti Shagabes is calling a college, Nomduana Abbas is calling a college. Sponga Kolo. A teaching and learning is a core business from MEC Uguazim Shengo with the noble profession, of course, and Sponga Kolo with Sibeno Babum Shengo in the Department of Education or rather Basic Education. It's a student TV in the Benjamin Molloy. See you.